Greetings ladies and gentlefish, a little update for you, patch 0.9.18 has of course now gone live on both the NA and EU servers and I'm sure it will go live on the um, RU server before too long if it hasn't already at the time when I'm recording this and ditto for the Southeast Asian server. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is that I don't think any single change that Wargaming has implemented ever has made as many of my reviews and guides obsolete as this one. They have changed the matchmaking, they have changed the light tanks, they have changed artillery, and there are other things within the game that have changed, but I'm just picking on those three areas. So that means, essentially, the changes to the matchmaking with respect to my reviews and whatnot aren't too significant. Um, it's just changes with regard to team balance, but that's not the end of the world. The light tank changes and the artillery changes are significant enough that any of my guides or reviews regarding light tanks or artillery, you should probably now assume are obsolete. I am going to go back and try and redo some of them and try and push on with some of them. Um, and different tanks have been affected differently. So, for example, the LTTB has effectively been nerfed. Um, as uh, Bearing in mind, I haven't played 9.18 yet. I'm just going on the numbers as I immediately see it. Because the LTTB now has lost its top 85mm gun. No, it hasn't. I just don't have it equipped. I take it back. Um, it's still got its top uh, 85mm gun. So this tank has actually effectively been unchanged. I lie. I am so sorry. You basically kept your top gun. You've been moved up a tier, but the matchmaking of light tanks has been changed such that you get regular matchmaking now, not scout matchmaking. So the LTTB is basically the same as it always was. The WZ-132, for example, has basically received a buff. The gun took a slight nerf, the top gun. The accuracy got hit. However, it's now a whole tier lower, effectively, because it's still at tier 8. And again, light tank matchmaking has changed so that it's more like regular tank matchmaking. Um, and there'll be light tanks out there that uh, potentially that appear to have received a bit of a nerf too, I'm sure. Some people are complaining over the changes to the Walker Bulldog, for example. However, all that said and done, there will be changes. So I will be going back and looking at some of these machines. Won't be bothering with others. I probably won't bother with the LTTB, for example. Um, and then, of course, we have artillery. Again, assume all of my artillery... <laughs> guides are now also obsolete so I will have to go back and redo these essentially I have stripped away the alpha damage so this gun used to hit for 1250 with higher penetration than that it's now 750 with 48 pen stripped away um, the alpha damage stripped away a lot of the penetration stripped away the heat rounds not that this tanks heat rounds were any good but now you just have high explosive generally speaking made them more accurate, made them aim faster, made them fire faster, uh, increased the splash radius and introduced the sc stun mechanic. So that's all um, different. So I'm going to have to redo things like my artillery guide. Um, some machines haven't really been changed, whether you're talking about light tanks or artillery, basically they've left the premium vehicles unaffected. Now I haven't played them yet, but that does raise the question, well are the premium vehicles now overpowered time will tell um, but anyway like I said this is just a warning so my individual light tank guides I'm gonna redo some of them I'm not gonna go and like buy old light tanks that I've ground through and aced specifically for that purpose I will just continue pushing up the line uh, to try and get to tier 10 now there are tier 10 light tanks um, ditto for the artillery but I will be redoing my artillery guide and I will be redoing my light tank guide um, so they will come at some point in the future. Just thought I would let you know. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying doing whatever it is you're doing. And I will catch you in another video. Ciao, ciao.